The word of God is alive and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and the spirit and the joints and the marrow. And it is a critic of thoughts and intents of the heart. All scripture is God-breathed and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. That the man of God might be mature, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Study to show thyself a prudent to God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, but rightly dividing the word of truth. In this unique dispensation of the church age, intensified stage of this angelic conflict, every believer being termed out as Alec and Akitesis, new spiritual species in Christ. Satan being absolutely aware that you have been positionally superior than to it, who have come from the who have come from the throne room of God, over its pride, losing that place, and nowadays looking around to consume like a roaring lion to devour as many as it can by not giving them the truth. The way the people look around and give testimony in the churches today not having proper fear of the word of the Lord, nor able to understand what it is to have that great Lord as our Savior, or to have the great doctrine of our Lord in rightly dividing the word of truth, or in having to realize what is Bible doctrine, or in order to get back to the truth what it is that it has been called for. They think Lord has blessed them because of their sincerity and faithfulness towards him. That sincerity and faithfulness which they are considering around, which they are looking around, which they are casting it around. With a pseudo point, as we look in Isaiah chapter 10, verses 15, which tells to us, Shall the axe boast itself against him who that heaveth therewith? Or shall the sow magnify itself against him that shaketh it? As if the rod should take itself against them that lift it up. Or as if the staff should lift up itself as it were no wood. Without the divine imputed righteousness to our soul, the boasting of us that we have been materially prospering, or the testimony of us that Lord has given to me such kind of a good life, such kind of a good life, such kind of a good job, such kind of a good opportunity, purely because I was sincere to Him. And that is the reason I have been materially blessed, is a real, real dilemma, dear brethren. The imputed righteousness which you have been credited at the moment of salvation is the respect for the Lord which He prospers you. But that is not the real prosperity. The real prosperity which Lord desires in you is your spiritual growth. The growth and the maturity, the two imperative commands for this unique dispensation believer is very great. These two dispensational commands demand that a believer in the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to be constantly controlled of the Spirit and number two, to grow in grace and in the knowledge of Bible doctrine. But these people, they are thinking as the axe can boast itself that could, could go and cut, or the saw, it can go itself and it can heave without the man performing it. So is the prosperity of these people today, materially speaking, around. But the divine prosperity comes to them through the knowledge of Bible doctrine. And these people never they have the peace which shall garrison their heart. Nor will they understand this angelic conflict. Nor will they give reverence towards God's word which is so great and alive and powerful. Though the earth and heaven perish, his word will not change. Not even a single dot or jilat from the Old Testament as well as in the New Testament could be altered. But these people today who are coming around in the pulpits... They call themselves as testimony, but I call it as a braggamony, as if a dog is bragging around. Because I have been sincere to the Lord, I have been faithful to the Lord, I have been giving tithes to the Lord. Lord has been protecting me, Lord has been doing this, so I have been so much blessed. That's a sure lot of a lie, as if that axe is coming around to proclaim itself against the heaver therewith, or saw against him that shaketh it, or rod against him that lifteth up, or in fact even the staff that would lift up 
because it is not because as it were but it is no wood dear brother we need to understand the spiritualization of the condition you cannot boast for yourself telling to the point that I have been because of such and such I have been faithful to the Lord the real growth for you comes in the spiritual realm never and not in the material realm we find today the testimony is given by those people earlier as a minister I was riding a bicycle but now I have a car see how Lord has blessed me and even if you are sincere now Lord is also going to bless you in the same manner so what you need to do invest to my ministry look at my righteousness how Lord has blessed me materially morons will look upon that idiots will look upon that foolish people will talk about that you need to recognize a pastor teacher not for his material prosperity in fact even he has to work for a daily menial food do you know why that is the great importance the life of Apostle Paul exemplifies in our attitude but we are grazed out around we are having a lot of doctrine to communicate by the church it is going to give us the best things but the people should look upon you for the doctrine and they should respect you for that and they should communicate that for you in that they cannot do XYZ things they cannot talk XYZ stupid dreams but the people should realize and come back and learn from you the doctrine and that is what they need to communicate dear brethren and what you communicate is their spiritual prosperity and not and never material prosperity if it is for the material prosperity it is as if that axe which rises and boasts itself it is as if that saw which magnifies itself as if that rod which shakes itself and as if that sh that staff which should lift upon itself without a man who's doing that is it possible without the truth of prosperity from your real spiritual real is it possible satan sponsors you to prosper materially dear brethren in fact even the so-called pastors who call themselves for the material prosperity it is a simple invitation by satan to invest your money in them so that you can lose out the spiritual prosperity of all time your material prosperity because for the respect of righteousness which has been indwelt in you has another meaning but when you come back because you are sincere you are faithful and Lord has been blessing you materially will come straight from the mind of Satan and that's what today the pastor teachers are representing in the pulpits the spiritual prosperity and the emphasis of the spiritual prosperity is been nullified people are not aware of that that the material prosperity will come when you have been spiritually prosperous you should have the capacity to handle the things and capacity is not your mental maturity by edifying yourself in the administration courses of this world but the capacity in your soul to take decisions when pressure comes because that pressure could be easily handled by the word of the Lord so your spiritual prosperity is the ultima your spiritual prosperity is what Lord desires in you and that's what Apostle Paul tells do you think it is good for us to weep or to reap material things when we so for his spiritual things that meant to say he wants from you the spiritual things of growth which could be in written credited to your account material prosperity is only for this earth that wood or saw if not that staff or rod if not that saw is only for some extension till it could be liable there if a man is not using that it is just waste exactly the material things as well dear brethren the way the people testimony upon their part because of this pastor I've been blessed because of that pastor I've been blessed materially is a lie a pastor will bless them spiritually but not materially dear brethren take it granted
The blessing comes to them because of that spiritual prosperity in the soul, in the soul derived from Bible doctrine. That's why the people which they think because of their spiritual prosperity, Lord will be glorified. No, Lord will never be glorified. He sends fatness to into leanness and the glory shall be kindled like glowing or burning or burning and glowing like a fire. And that kindled of the fire is what? Their human activities energy of the flesh which will be shown for you at the judgment seat of Christ how beautifully that glory will be turned out into burning or glowing or glowing into burning under that fire of Lord because Lord doesn't require any human energy or any human deeds that could be performed at the judgment seat of Christ or to enter into his royal family your material prosperity with human viewpoint is wrong your spiritual prosperity with divine viewpoint is absolutely right and that glory even though it has been tested in the fire it will stand purely because Lord God the Holy Spirit demands to search the scriptures diligently and until and unless you are not aware of the fact the one who is walking godly or usabaya there is a constant persecution by this world in fact, even our Lord prayed for our sanctification. How can we sanctify? We could be sanctified by His truth. We cannot be sanctified by the material prosperity what we boast around. Even Jeremiah tells to us, the one who boasts, let him boast that he knows the knowledge of the Lord. Irrespective of the trials and temptations, you will learn the capacity to handle the things when the Lord blesses you materially. But prior to that, you need to have the spiritual capacity. And that spiritual capacity demands the spiritual prosperity, dear brethren. And that spiritual prosperity is not possible until and unless you take up a decision to grow up in Bible doctrine day by day. You take up a decision to learn in the word of the Lord and to be edified in the word of the Lord for every day. Because every day is accountable to my Christ. Every day is worth to my Lord. And every day is there to the praise of his glory and his grace. And why do you want to add leanness upon your fatness of the soul? And why do you want to think that the glory should be burned out into the burning of the burning or glowing of the glowing of the fire? Why can't you check it right now today? Do you think that axe can boast itself? A saw can magnify itself? Or in fact even, do you think that the staff or the rod can shake for itself? Or the staff can lift for itself? Your material prosperity not being under the influence of Lord God, the Holy Spirit thinks it can boast, it can magnify, it can shake, it can lift. But all those things will end up in vanity, dear brother, and take it granted. Anything which does not jive with the word of the Lord will be ending up magnifying itself. And at the judgment seat of Christ you will find the greatest volcano of all time when it could be judged. The greatest fire it could be judged. It is not glory that time, but it will be glowing and glowing into that fire when the wrath of the Lord judges them. Because though you have been given the great privilege of all time to be controlled of the Spirit, to be living on the Spirit, to be filled of the Spirit, and to know the word of the Lord more accurately, you have not known the truth more diligently, dear brother. Therefore, the glory of Him which should have been will instead become the glow glowing and the glowing as of the fire glows out and that is not the true glory dear brethren which the people think they can achieve it that is not the true prosperity dear brethren which the people think they have achieved it only those who are under the mental ministry of Lord God the Holy Spirit who are not grieving or squelching can realize what is the truth what is the plain and the plea of the burden wherewith I am preaching to you all not to concentrate upon that material prosperity fake news which the people think that there is some sort of material prosperity blessings which have been sent into this world and that material prosperity blessings have been started because rich people started to donate to the poor people to get out of that guilt consciousness they are doing it but not with the real spiritual prosperity dear brethren and the tactics and the stratagems of Satan you can never understand until and unless you walk in the integrity to know the truth or you can walk in the life of Bible doctrine and that is what dear brethren you and I need to understand you and I need to communicate you and I need to think of as Apostle Paul told 
we rip we saw to you spiritual things but you think ripping material things is a pleasure for us no he wants once again the spiritual things back to us he needs to rip that spiritual thing back because every believer has been called for the perfection and the completion in the knowledge of Christ. Every believer has been called to the praise of his glory and his grace. Every believer has been called to know what is the truth exactly pertaining to the mind of Christ, dear brethren. And that pertaining to the mind of Christ determines the sanctification by the Spirit. That sanctification by the Spirit is not possible until and unless the Spirit can use biblical truth, which is the Word. The Word is nothing but the mind of Christ, which is Bible doctrine. His nature, His character, His essence, His doctrine has been revealed for us in this Bible. And when we are not able to understand this, and you think the material prosperity will be the result because you have been sincerely following the Lord, that is coming straight from the mind of Satan. Because the sincere following will be even among the unbelievers, but they are ten times more greater blessed than us. Do you know why? Because of the diligence not involving in adulteration, fornication, drunkenness. Then what is the real prosperity that a believer can have a difference with the unbeliever? Prosperity in your soul, which is spiritual prosperity. As your soul prospers, at Second John 3. So you shall be prospered to have the capacity to enjoy the things which Lord gives to you graciously when you're meeting that escrow contract of all time. That escrow contract of all time, as well as in eternity as well, it demands desire for truth, love for God, perseverance, incredible stability, your strength of character, perseverance, motivation, momentum, happiness of Lord, and to be occupied with Christ. And that is not possible with your sincerity, with your morality, with your XYZ of emotion attitudes. And that is only possible when we grow up in the knowledge of Bible doctrine, dear brethren. So which way you want to go, you decide. But remember, your glory should not turn out to be glowing and the glowing of the fire at the judgment seat of Christ. Your glory should be of great one when you are walking in the Spirit and living in the Spirit by using rebound and being absolutely capable of boasting yourself that you know the knowledge of Lord and that you, isagogically, categorically, and exegetically, and for the divine appointment which Lord has given to you in the bona fide gift of a pastor teacher, you need to make every believer perfection and completion for that great God-ordained work to the praise of His glory and His grace. So which way you want to go, you decide. In the next step, we shall continue our discourse. Father, we are grateful for the privilege that thou has given to fellowship with thee through thy word. We pray that, Lord God, the Holy Spirit will enlighten us in these things and make it a source of blessing and challenge, sovereign Lord. For we ask it in Christ's name, Father. Amen.